Hello students, welcome to the session. Today we are going to discuss with aromaticity. So what is aromatic compound, anti-aromatic compound and non-aromatic compound that is very important topic for the NEET examination preparation. So before going for this aromaticity, I just want to discuss about uh, this score examination, India's largest scholarship test examination. This examination brings you scholarship worth of 1 crore rupees. That is why I said it is India's largest scholarship examination. And what you are going to do here, this scholarship score examination is for any student studying grade 3 to grade 12. So, you may be related to infinity lane or it may not be related to infinity lane. You can be studying in any other school or college, still you can write this score examination. This score examination brings you many things like scholarship of 1 crore rupees worth and also studies set up and laptop and educational allowances also and up to scholarship of 100% you can get it. So, in the description box the link is available, you can do it. And all the best for your scholarship examination and you can sit at home and you can write this examination online. And also Infinity Lane is offering you NEET Diwali gift. So what is this NEET 2025 All India Test Series Pack? It has 27 AITS examinations, 20 full syllabus mock test and 25 topic wise PYQs and also 3 physics chemistry books along with video solutions on the app is available and performance reports and your performance assessments benchmarked with Sri Chaitanya students. And also that package is these many facilities coming for 5999 but infinity lane Diwali gift. So YouTube 50 of coupon code you can enter it and you are going to get it for 50% slash for that you are going to see 2999 rupees. So, what late? It is there in the link, it is there in the description box and you can see and you can click it and you can enjoy your ring all India test series NEET 2025 package. So, today we are going to discuss about aromaticity and anti-aromaticity. Why late? What are the conditions to be aromatic? Aroma means a smell. So, the aromatic compounds do have characteristic aroma. So, on the basis of smell they are not classified, on the basis of their structural properties they are clarified and it is the conditions for the aromatic compounds, there has to be a complete cyclic structure and ring must be planar, planarity is the essential condition, then only you are going to see a complete resonance along the cycle and also you are going to see it must be fully cyclic conjugated system. And there should be a dislocation of delocalization of pi electron system above and below the cyclic system. And coming back to the second point, how do we say the structure is planar or not? It could be sp3, sp2 hybridized, there should not be any sp3 hybridized carbon atom. But if any atom carries lone pair on it within the ring in the structure, you need not have to stick to the sp2 rule. You can take this sp3 hybridized atom is also in delocalization if it is in the conjugation. That second point is very important. Talking about the third point, there must be fully cyclic conjugated system and it must follow Huckel rule. Huckel rule says the number of delocalized pi electrons should be is equal to 4n plus 2. So, you have to check these four points. If every point is satisfied, then the compound is said to be aromatic compound. And it's a, it's a very, very, very important. We need to stick to this rule. And also, you can see an example. If n is equal to 0, then we will get the following 4n plus 2 is equal to 0 on n solved to be a 0. Therefore, 2 pi electrons can be there like cyclopropenium carbocation is the example for that. And similarly, if n is equal to 1, there should be 6 pi electrons. If n is equal to 2, there should be 10 pi electrons. If n is equal to 3, there should be 14 pi electrons. Like that, various examples are there. So, you have benzene is a ring structure where 3 pi bonds are there, 6 pi electrons. If you put these 6 pi electrons and 4n plus 2, you are going to get solute to be n is equal to 1. 
then the benzene is said to be aromatic like that every point has to be connected and i just want to see the characteristics of the aromatic compounds the characteristics they have the characteristic smell and they are extra stable aromatic compounds are super stable and they are burn with a sooty flame they give a lot of black smoke when they burn because the reason is the carbon to hydrogen ratio inka jyada hoga and also benzenoid aromatic system benzene like aromatic system you can see molecules having at least one benzene ring or ring benzene ring like system is known as benzenoid aromatic compounds you can see naphthalene anthracene phenanthracene you can see in the in this structure naphthalene has two benzene rings anthracene has three benzene rings and phenanthrene has three benzene rings one above the other and the number of pi electrons number of pi bonds into two is equal to five pi bonds and 10 pi electrons seven pi bonds 14 pi electrons if you say all are benzenoid non aromatic aromatic compounds and then what is anti aromatic compounds anti aromatic compounds everything is ready like first point second point third point but fourth point sirf hackel rule nahi chalta so all the points are same except hackel rule such compounds are called anti aromatic compounds they must be cyclic they must be planar so again the same rule and they must be fully cyclic conjugated system but they do not obey hackel rule so that is the fourth point and also you can see the stability of these anti aromatic compounds are very 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 less so 1 3 cyclobutadiene has four two pi bonds four pi electrons so that n is going to be a fractional four n plus four n conjugated electrons are there so it is anti aromatic and talking about non aromatic non aromatic compounds the non aromatic compound that has uh, one of the sp3 hybridized maybe it is uh, missing the planarity so there is no delocalization such compounds are said to be non aromatic compounds you can take this as an as um, sp3 hybridized cyclobutadiene so it is a non planar structure it is going to be non aromatic and also the order of stability for the aromatic compound is more and non aromatic compounds than anti aromatic compounds anti aromatic compounds are highly highly unstable and whereas aromatic compounds are highly stable and you can also have based on the aromaticity you can say which of the following is aromatic hydrocarbon simply you say it is anti aromatic because it has four n electrons it is having 10 pi electrons n is equal to 2 so it is going to be aromatic it is non aromatic it is non aromatic as this option c and d are non planar structures so my option for this structure is going to be option b is the correct answer for this question and coming to this what is the order of stability of this compound so as structures are shown here this structure this structure and this structure let us talk about this phenanthrene has 14 pi electrons it is aromatic and it is cyclobutadiene has 4 pi electrons it is anti aromatic and this is going to be non planar non aromatic when you ask about the stability is aromatic is more stable than non aromatic is more stable than anti aromatic so we comes to be aromatic is more stable than non aromatic is more stable than anti aromatic it is going to be more stable than this and this so that one is more stable than three is more stable than two so like that you are going to expect ncert based neat examination questions so today we discussed about what is aromatic what is non aromatic what is anti aromatic and how the questions can be asked based on that so take this particular session as an example how to prepare for your neat examination hope you enjoy today's class please like share and subscribe to the infinity learn neat channel thank you very much thank you